Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Wise Driver Care. At the time I did this video, this was out in beta and new. The It appears to be pretty solid so far, looking like it's probably not going to change much from final. So uh, we're going to come back to the actual checkup and just walk you through some of the other things you can do here. Uh, the Rescue Center is interesting. This will look at your drivers and see what it can back up. For example, sometimes gamers will find difficulty upgrading graphic cards so you could actually come down back up your graphic card and restore it later if you had a problem you can decide where you want to put it and you can back up everything right here and of course your driver restore I haven't gotten anything so if you did it would be right here to restore it your hardware detection is a basic system information tool my assumption here is this is designed so that you can look and make sure your hardware is detected properly and you get the right drivers. Every once in a while I hear about somebody getting the wrong driver, so this is a way to get around that. Best I can tell, it's detected everything correctly for me. I'm actually running this on my daily computer because the Wise Disk Cleaner stuff is pretty solid even as beta. So I wanted to see how it worked instead of VMware where the drivers are very hit and miss. Your toolkit. I haven't played with this too much, but there's your support center. I'm assuming they're going to add more to this later, but if you have a no sound error, you can collect that, Oop, click that, and it'll try and repair it if you have a problem the same with network. So little, not real sure about this right now because when I do this, as you can see, it says go ahead and repair, but I don't have any problems, so I don't know what problem it found and what it's going to repair. So hopefully they'll work on that down the road. So let's get to the meat of the program. It is checkup. So clicking on checkup, as you can see, it is going to redetect all the hardware and make sure everything is up to date. Now it does a nice little breakdown here, depending on what you want to deal with. It shows four outdated drivers. So my Realtek is out of date. That's out of date. Oh, my graphic card's out of date. It pulls you the version, as you can see, other versions that were available. You can update, backup, uninstall, ignore, force install, or open the folder. So there you go. It's not too tough. As you can see, anything in the lighter color means it needs to be updated. And anything in the gray means that it's not. I don't know what special software has been installed. That's interesting. And some driver residue. I kind of like this little option here. So it finds any additional driver residue. Works really, really well for anybody but if you really want to dig in deep to the program say well what's it removing I can't find anything here however I've run it a couple of times and not had any problem don't know what this is makes me a little nervous I'd like to see a little detail on there but apparently you can unclick it and hit fix still not a fan of the way that works but really right now it's geared towards the average user because it's so simple to use and back up lacking a few features on the geek end where if you really want to know what's going on here as you know most of us do you, you don't you're missing a little bit of information not much so you can click updatable drivers as you can see there and just click on fix and then just wait a few minutes for it to do whatever it needs to do creating a system restore point my restore point is off so I don't know how it'll treat that there we go and as you can see it's downloading and installing drivers uh, you've got an idea what kind of size you're dealing with, 5.8, 208 megs, 423 megs, and 1.9 megs. So we'd have to see how fast it is. I may just click pause here for a second, so in case it takes 5 or 10 minutes. And it's downloading and installing now. Got to enjoy some coffee. Getting an awful lot of download fails here. Again, keep in mind this is currently a beta. There is my Intel drivers finished. It says I need to restart. I'll restart later and see what happens here so it only pulled the one let's take the smallest one the real tech driver and try that again again keeping in mind it's a beta so if you don't like playing with betas you probably shouldn't and no such luck so you have to see how it works for you i'm wondering if for example it's trying to download the drivers from the real tech server if you've ever done that it's really difficult to get to them directly it doesn't mention on here if it's cloud-based or not, so that could be the problem. However, NVIDIA's are usually pretty simple to download, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Download failed. So once again, we're just rolling into a beta. We could take a better look at this shortly when it goes into final code, but otherwise it's off to a good start. 
Uh, I did the video because it's been updated every few days lately, so I'm assuming that you can expect to see a final, and hopefully they'll watch this video and realize they've got a little bit of a problem here because I haven't run into this with any other driver updaters. But give it a shot. See what you think. Thanks for watching. See you next time.